Hello and welcome back to Warbital, and with this last update to Warbital, there's just been a brand new weapon added, the Solarite Gun, a weapon that utilizes the power of the sun to destroy your opponents. So let's go ahead and test it out against the impossible AI. So I've gone ahead and created a, uh, a loadout just for this, so let's get going. So I've especially chosen to use the Celestials because they gain access to some, uh, buildings that are particularly synergous with this new solarite gun. Uh, this is specifically the orbital booster. We, we get access to it in tier 1. Which means we can uh, maneuver our planet around into position because a solarite gun requires us to fire through the sun and kind of makes this um, plethora of pain, this fan of destruction on the other side of the solar system from where we're currently sitting. So we, we have to be sitting on one side and our opponents on the other side throughout the entire game. So in order to complete this, we're gonna have to, well, use those orbital boosters to keep us around in the in the right location. Because this is a tier 2 weapon, I do want to be getting some economy first here, so... While we've spawned next to our opposing AI, uh, we're just gonna kind of have to take these hits while we build up refineries and such. So, because I want to showcase this uh, solar egg gun, I don't want to actually be dealing damage to my opponents here. Uh, with these uh, coal guns that I'm building. I'm going to try to use the Solarite gun only to actually finish out this match. But I don't want to go full on into the refineries because I want to be able to get these up quickly and then sell them off. So I'm going to use these coal guns here to try to just use them as an economic advantage. Clear them in. Rather, uh, clear out other planets in the solar system for resources. Just, just, just like straight tech rush to tier 2 so we can get out our weapons quicker. It's otherwise we're just gonna, just gonna be a sitting duck, and frankly, I don't like being shot at. All right, so let's get some uh, let's get some cash monies here. Yes, give me that dough. That that sounds too weird. I can't say that with straight face. But I do want those resources though. Just a couple planets around here that I can farm. On. At least he's only using those. Uh, Sonic guns, what is this, the uh, sound wave cannons? I forget the exact name of them. They don't deal a whole lot of damage, at least not quickly. So it's, I could just kind of take these hits. It's, it's doing something and it's costing me some monies. But let's go ahead and start working on these orbit boosters. I'm going to want three of them because that's the max you can get. Because positioning is literally everything. Uh, this weapon is very, the Silverite gun is very, very... I say, uh, I don't know if niche is the right term for it. I, I think situational would be a better way of describing the Solarite gun. You have to use it specifically when you're on the opposite side of the solar system and in very specific positions within it because I was playing with it a little bit in testing just to see how it worked just so I, I knew somewat what I was doing and oh boy, is it, it could it get rough. But we're about to get into uh, tier 2 yet. Yeah, this unlocks. Let's go ahead and do that. And start selling our coil guns off and get into the real weapons here. Uh, tier 2, still the right gun. There we are. Uh, I'm going to want my third orbit booster. Where do I want to put these things? I'm also going to want to get a defense orbs. Hmm. I think that's a good place to put it. Alright, still the right gun. I sell off this other refinery. I put these in the wrong spot. Uh, I need to sell off that. I need to feel orbit booster needs to be in this position. That way I don't have two orbit boosters adjacent to each other. Because if they're adjacent to each other, you don't have a whole lot of, um, shall we say, opportunities to move your planet around. If they're right next to each other, they both have to be fired at effectively the same time and you go the same direction. You want it to be spaced out. That way you can have, you can move different directions at different times instead of just, you know, like two directions. This is, this is not, not great. So we'll go ahead and uh, let that build up. We should just be kind of floating into position here. I don't know if we need to use an orbit booster here just yet. Let's go ahead and get the third solarite gun and see if we can get the proper angle here. Get this does uh, uh, quite look like it, but that might be close. Let me see if it pulls in. No, okay, we need, we need to go further further across we literally exactly on the other side of the solar system so let's go ahead and wait maybe to pull into view taking hits here oh dear 
We're taking a lot of hits here. Yeah, that, that shot missed. Okay, let's go ahead and rebuild our reduce. Refinery, lost our refinery. Let's put that back. This should be a nicer shot, because now that we're directly on the other side of the solar system from him. And... Woohoo! See, just one hit, we're almost to his core already. These solar rank guns hit a lot of damage. I mean, that's a lot of damage. Let's keep firing. Missed. They're actually really hard to aim with. Like, really hard to aim with. And those gravimetric shields do actually re repel the uh, solar flares emitted by this solar rank guns, which makes them the ideal defense against uh, the weapons that we're going for, which is not a surprise, considering that we're playing against the impossible difficulty AI it really wants to make my life difficult here. Yeah, look at that. It just sends them right back into the sun. Right back from whence they came. Now we can fire. It, his uh, defense should be on cooldown when this comes to hit. Woohoo! One hit, massive soil damage, and destroys the defense. This should just... Oh, no, he's got another one. RIP! That was a good shot, too. Okay, let's keep reversing our orbital trajectory here. Bounce ourselves back. A nice curved shot. Should be able to hit him from this angle here. There we go. Oh, that looked like it was going to hit, too. Or maybe just a very, very, very nearly hit, anyways. Wait for it to expire, fire the next one, and just kind of face tank these missile hits because I have totally invested anything in defense here. Here. Just keep firing. We need to blow them up before something really bad happens to us. Oh, How much damage that does. A single hit just clearing out structures and cutting so deep to his planet. Look at that. Look how deep it went. That just... This is just satisfying. And that's going to be another hit. Oh man, we're just destroying chunks of the planet. We can just stay on the other side of the solar system. He can't hit us with any of those direct fire weapons. He's got to use those missiles to curve around the entire system and get to even get to us. And as you can see, those missiles really don't deal that much damage. And every time we hit him, we're destroying something important. Yeah, he's just kind of just getting a little bit of scattered damage across this, but it's it's not it's not a lot. Look, our planet's almost entirely intact, and there's a, a uninhabited planet kind of in the way here. Uh, so these these things are really affected by gravity. If you, if you haven't noticed, oh, not enough. Still colliding with this with this planet despite his shield coming up. Just stand this side. Um, I'm gonna see if I could use the. The uninhabited planet here to, to kind of reflect or redirect slingshot right into him. That's uh, kind of rough of a shot, especially if he blocks it. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work so well, is it? Um, go ahead and try that. Go ahead and try that again. Great. No, no, I can't do that from that angle. I can probably from this angle. Let's go. Or not. Okay then, um, we might have to just kind of take a few hits here. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my defenses because I've got resources to do it and right into his planet. It's just so satisfying to see how deep it goes. It's, it's like it's like every one of these shots is that perfect laser kind of shot. Oh, right to his core. That's what I'm talking about. So if we get another hit directly in down that same shaft, we should just be able to end the game. Man, that planet in the middle is really throwing off my shots. Like, I'm able to use it somewhat to my advantage, but it's not its not good enough. We need to do more. We need to be properly aligned. Or just be away from all the other planetary bodies. Oh, there we go. Uh, almost straight down the, the hole. You got a building there. We just missed it. Mm. This guy would have, this, this poor planet would have been just gone long ago if it wasn't for those shields. He's got what? He's got three of them now. Jeez. Oh, I fired too soon. It's gonna... Yeah, so by the way, these things are really affected by gravity. Uh, as you see, they were actually repelled and moving away by a shield, and then just kind of, once the shield ran out, they got sucked right back into his planet. Uh, it's got its ups and downs. Other planetary bodies clearly can very much still get in the way. We got a core hit. It wasn't just a... I suppose it's technically a direct hit? 
Cause, cause we hit his planet, dug all the way through his planet, and then hit his core. So we'll see if we can do that again coming up right here. Oh, so close! Look at that! Look how close it was! I mean, this poor guy really can't- he can't even attack us anymore. It's just like, brutal. Just taking hit after hit, and it just gets sucked into his planet. Oh, ha 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 ha! No more shields for you. He's actually still got a shield. I took out two of them. Took out two of them. Uh, take another hit here. Repair the damage. Send another shot into him. There we go. Uh, can I make that? The one thing I noticed is that if you fire the projectiles too slowly, like I think that first shot was a bit too slow. Then when it hits the sun, the flares come out the other side, and they just kind of get sucked right back into the sun, because the sun, who would have thought, has a lot of gravity. Yeah, just like that. And then the shots go wild. Uh, also, the sun appears to be getting very angry, which is not cool. I kind of need the sun to be alive so I can use the solar right guns. Uh, solar right guns, not particularly powerful once the sun goes away. Get into position, and this should be nice. There we go. And his defenses, or at least his shield isn't online yet, so I should. Well, if I miss, it doesn't matter. That should be better. That should not be better. He's starting to get weapons online because I haven't hit him hard enough in a while. Okay. Defense is upgraded. Let's activate that. Oh, but now this other planet's getting in the way. Oh boy. Hmm. So with this other planet in the way, it's it's gonna suck all my shots into it. Almost like that, except uh, as well, he also had the shield active, so it's not a good example, but it's like to see that the, the shots get sucked away into the nearby planet. Um, I'll try to hit him here, but probably gonna hit the planet on the side instead. Or he's just gonna build a second shield and defend it. That'll work too. That's for him, not for me. If I, if I could send a couple of these shots into the core of that planet, or maybe just like near nearly hit it, or ricochet it around him. I'm not sure what I want to do here. Um, I could probably destroy that planet, but I could also probably make the shots curve around the planet and hit him. Because I don't want that planet to be there, but also I don't want him to be there either. I keep forgetting to upgrade my stuff, man. I just, just, just sitting here at the, th like, what was it, 1500 resources? So you spend it all on upgrades. There we go. I should be able to hit him here. Oh, I would have hit him too if it wasn't for that shield. This guy's got a lot of shields. Well, at least he doesn't have a whole lot of damage. He's not hitting me a lot, which is nice. Uh, he is hitting the sun, however, and that's not that's not good for me. The solarite gun projectile itself doesn't deal much damage. Uh, but the flares after hitting the sun deals a lot of damage, obviously. So I, I don't really have much fear of destroying the sun, but oh wait a minute, why is that planet disabled? Did he? He was building one of the uh, the planet dislocator. Did he get it off? Because I know I destroyed it. He must have fired it right before I destroyed it, and I didn't notice. Uh, well, that's really unfortunate for him because he appears to have derailed himself, which means I have a moving target to hit, which is really this is gonna be fun. I actually kind of like this, because he's just kind of floating around. Those uh, gravimetric shields are great for moving yourself around when you've got yourself, uh, when you're dislo- when you're, uh, what is it? Out of position. Dislodged. Oh! He keeps activating that shield just in time. He's always got another one up. Um, you know, if I force him to activate those, because those are our not quite as strong as planetary thrusters, but they really, really, uh, add some serious thrust to your planet. Like here you're going to see his planet come to a complete stop and go backwards and then out of the solar system here, which is going to be really bad for him. Because if I keep firing these shots at him, he's going to either have to eat these shots, which pretty much is just going to destroy him immediately, or he's going to get kicked out of the solar system. So all I have to do is just keep firing and he's going to leave the solar system. And there's not really much you can do about it. So this makes me happy. Not enough, right into the side of the planet. I was hoping to scrape it and get it close to him again, but look, there he goes. Boom! There goes half of his planet, with it, hopefully, most of his shields. That way I can actually hit him with these. Actually, looks like he's still got a couple shields up. Yeah. But that should send him right out of the solar system. 
Like, look at that. Those shots looked like they were gonna hit. Except he defended them. But oh, look, there he goes. Out of the solar system. Right back from whence he came. Look at it. Look at him go. And... Yes! Got him! Alright, guys. Well, if you guys didn't notice, my voice sounds a little bit different. And that's because I got a brand new mic. And so if you guys like this, just let me know. Because I still need to uh, set up the mic. Just set it, just change things around a little bit. Let me know how you guys like the sound of it. But for now... Have a good day, everyone, and I'll see you guys later.